here. Like, what the heck? What the heck and heck do I do? How do I do it? I want to clip that because it's so true. Go ahead, yeah. A lot of times I find that I make the best content when I'm not thinking about it, and then it never gets clipped. What's the easiest hardcore class run? Uh, probably Ranger. Probably Ranger. So what I was talking about there uh, is the the Achievo that you get uh, when you hit a certain level. So you literally get like a pop-up and, and it says path to partner completed. And then it allows you to apply from there to become a Twitch partner. That's that's just all bot stuff. So basically if raids and stuff did, hey, wow, that was easy. Uh, basically if raids and stuff didn't work, then there's no way. Yeah, 75 average viewers is insane. Super, super difficult. Make no mistakes. It is a very, very difficult goal to try to hit that. I, I, I definitely think they pay attention to invents. Uh, man, I'm kind of tempted to take this, but I definitely think they pay attention to invents. Uh, I don't think they put as much scrutiny on raids because like retention is what's important for a raid. How, how long do the people that raid you stick around? Uh, I, I think definitely stuff has changed. I, I just don't know that they 100% dismiss any numbers that you get from a raid. The, the, the most thing I have benefited from here is friends. Just like on Twitch in general. Same! <laughs> Actually having friendships, like actual friendships. So I thought I had friends when I was in high school. Like, oh, these people are my friends. But the reality actually was those people were, I was friends with those people because of circumstance. They happened to go to the right school. But but now that I'm here on Twitch, I've actually made people who are my friends who were literally genuinely, the reason why we're friends, we're friends because we have mutual interests. And I think that's so much better than being friends with someone because they're around. So much better. Like if I didn't, if I didn't want to be friends with someone that I'm friends with, I, I would just never speak to them again, right? Like that's, there's that. Like goodbye forever. I don't have to see you in class. I don't have to deal with you in my daily life. Do IMO. Okay, that's a spicy one. Because that is going to roll. Okay, I stopped it from doing so. Wow. I would never be a good streamer. Wrong. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stop you right there. Here's the thing about what a, a quote unquote good streamer is. There are so many different types of streamers out there that do so many different types of things and have so many different personalities. Here's, here's the basic concept that I want you to hold on to. You are on Twitch. You are you. There are people like you. Therefore, there is an audience for you. If you want to do Twitch streaming, freaking do it. Stop convincing yourself otherwise. You know how I say stay motivated no matter what anybody else says? That includes you, okay? Please don't be the person in your life who's telling you you can't do stuff. Plocks. Because that's the toughest person to get rid of. The most impossible person. When you're putting yourself down, it, that's a hard fight. It's a hard struggle uphill. Because you have to get over that. You have, to, you have to give yourself the allowance to be able to do different things. I, I would temper your expectations, for sure. Starting out, like, what do you want to see? Set a five-year plan. That helped me a lot. Uh... Uh, to be fair, these days it's rough to grow. I actually don't think so. <laughs> I I think that you have the opportunity on tons of places to make content that people will like. There are there are so many. There, there there's a bunch of different communities. There's, there's a ton of different communities right now that are absolutely hurting, like seriously starving to death because they don't have enough content creators there. There are there are so many games coming out there there is more communities being founded today than ever existed before and inherently those communities being founded need content creators there uh i think night's edge is pretty much the thing that i need to do in her poncho yeah waffle golf is definitely next fight next step is uh, night's edge though and probably getting night's edge to a decent modifier would help too uh, we need to get some fire blossom uh, actually i think the the issue with oh, people not feeling good enough actually stems from sort of how one portrays themselves on social media. Like the way that you experience my life is very curated. Uh, the way that you experience ninjas or PewDiePie's life, you know, you don't see them taking a poop. You don't see them when they have a tummy ache. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see them uh, when they've had a bad day, really. What is the most useful skill one can learn? Easy, easy. I'd be surprised if chat doesn't know this. What is the most useful skill that you can learn, chat? The one skill that is more powerful than any other skill. Cooking, speech, empathy. Mm. Coping with being alone. Pooping at you at the same time. Saying no. Man, you guys have got some good ones. Some really good ones. Uh, knowledge. <gasps> That's very close to where my mind's at. Place the blocks from get away from enemies. Loving yourself. Finding information. Aha! Finding information. This is what I would call critical thinking. 
the number one skill that you need to have going forward in the place that humanity is right now is the ability to think critically. The ability to take information and parse that information in such a way that to make it a, useful to you. That is the number one skill. Once you have that skill, once you have the ability to uh, use YouTube to find resources, to use a library to find resources, um, to use different things to to get information, to, to use people to get resources. Uh, when you have that ability, you'll be able to learn anything that you want. Number one ability is critical thinking. Number two, block placement. <laughs> yes, correct. What am I missing here? Blinkroot, I think. Did you beat Goblin Summoner though? I have not, no. Goblin Summoner is a heck of a boss. Uh, this is a small world, but you can use whatever size you want. Uh, it depends on the run. Like I might actually regret using, nah, I probably won't. <laughs> Uh, we were fine last time. We didn't get halfway. How are we not taking lava damage? I took a potion called the Obsidian Skin Potion that we were working on getting just now. It is a potion that prevents you from taking lava damage uh, for like three minutes to four minutes, I want to say. And we're also using a mining potion to help us. Oh, come on. Mine faster? And that will mean we'll get plenty of uh, hellstone. If you could design a boss, what would he be do? I, I'm just a streamer. I don't think I would be great at designing a boss. <laughs> I know you're just asking me to like think of something creative, but I actually think that my... My take on this is that I shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be taken seriously when it comes to game design. I'm not a game designer. I've never designed a game. I've never balanced a game for players. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I've played games, sure. Uh, if I were to do anything myself in, in, with the bosses, I would just do something that has a totally different AI. Like some of the ideas in Calamity are awesome, where they like lock you in and prevent you from moving, and you have to fight the boss basically in an arena of its own making. That's kind of interesting. Having like unique mechanics like that really changes the dynamic in the game. I really like Wall of Flesh in Terraria because it's just like totally different than the other bosses. Like the way that it moves and what it does to you is just super unique when compared to the other fights, which are, you know, you're allowed. To... Man, this guy's kicking my butt. Uh, Fisherman kind of locks you in, sort of. You can, you can actually kill him while he's enraged. He doesn't take less damage or anything like that. Uh, if you use your Cthulhu Shield Dash, actually, he's actually really easy to kill. It's just, it's a timing thing. Uh, it's, it's just not, it's not the same as Waffle Copter. Like, it, the the difference between all the other boss fights and Waffle Copter are really pronounced. Okay, so we have Hellstone Armor. Or Hellstone, enough Hellstone for Emerald to pick, as well as the armor. So Hellstone is just Obsidian, as well as Hellstone Bars. I don't know how many bars I need. Doop, doop. Yeah, you're just secretly waiting for me to burn myself to death. That's all right, I know. A lot of people get really antsy when I'm in the lava like that. It's not understandable, frankly. Yeah, it is a hardcore character, after all. Very easy to die in some lava. So we're going to make the Knight's Edge now. It is a combination of the Sword of Grass, oh, crap. the Fire Greatsword, the Maramusa, and the Bloody Butcher, or the Corruption Equivalent. Aha, nice. This is a pretty big deal for the Sword Only Run to make the Knight's Edge. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> we crafted it. We're not very good at crafting. We broke it. Feels bad, man. It's a broken tonight's edge. <laughs> Jeez. Quick. Oh, two gold to reforge. Shoddy. Unpleasant. Le what? Okay. No longer angry. Legendary. 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 A legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Easy. Easy. Don't drop the voodoo doll on the lava too early. Why? What will happen? Nothing bad, surely, right? Snow in hell, by the way? Okay. I'm a horrible human. Well, I definitely think that streams are a reflection. Okay, this, a streams community is a reflection of their streamer. So, if you're going to try and say that that's not the case, I strong disagree. Like, the the reason... If there is a reason that chat does that, it's because of your personality. Like, you, you've had you've given them no coaching and they do that thing. That's because of you. you got to take responsibility for that, all right? J just like if there's a toxic chat out there, you know, b bullying people and being jerks, I, I think it's because of the... The content creator is really setting them up for failure in that one of the things that i've kind of always held is that what i really want from my community is for them to be together for each other as much as being together for me so sure i get to be a center point in an awesome community but i also really like to oh gosh i would also really like to uh encourage other members of the community to have friendships as well rather than just having it you know, one way, you and me are friends. I would like to have a triangle kind of thing where I'm friends with other chatter, chatter one and chatter two, and chatter one and two are friends as well. I think that's a really 
good way to go forward making a community. I, I, something I want to work on going forward as a creator is encouraging that uh, those connections with other people as well. Because I think those are super important too. Like having an active Discord, I think, is a lot about having other people who are active in Discord and want to have conversations. Like my Discord is mostly conversations between other people, not so much me. I am very, very rarely active on my own Discord. It's something that I have trouble with. At a glance, your tank top and tiara look like a prom dress. <laughs> I, I also like to see chat engagement. I, I, I like to see streamers reading chat. I like to see chat engaging themselves. I like to, th I mean, I, I really like to see people having fun in chat throughout the broadcast. And I, and I think that's one of the big things for Twitch streaming. Twitch streaming, in my mind, number one, is an interactive live stream platform. Interactive being this thing that sticks out super hard. Have I ever donated my hair before? Actually, this is the longest I've ever had my hair, Samus. Uh, throughout my entire life, I've had short hair. I was in the army for six years, so buzz cut was like the standard for, for me. Uh, so it being really short constantly was a norm. So this long hair has been like a journey. I, I've had to figure it out, like how to use a hair tie, for example. I mean, people like buzz cut batter. Uh, you could probably go check out some old VODs. Uh, yeah, I kind of miss the colors too. You check out some old VODs to see what my hair was like previously, if you wanted to see that. I can't even imagine the short hair or like clean shaven. I will probably be king clean shaven at some point. Uh, it was kind of sad. The I, I attended a wedding recently of one of my friends and I didn't wear my uniform. And that's actually the very first social event that a tuxedo that was available to me, but I didn't wear my uniform. And I couldn't, I had to shave, I would have to have shaved my beard and also have cut my hair to wear my uniform. And that was something I wasn't r really willing to do. What's the number one largest organ? Chat, anybody know? I think I know the answer to this question, but I'm not sure if that's right. Uh, but you'll let me know. Okay, good boof, good second close. That's that's my biggest organ. Skin, skin is the biggest organ, right? Like it's, it is massive. It covers the entire freaking body. So it kind of makes sense to go to a doctor for skin, right? Uh, pipe organ. Hmm, that's a big organ. It's a really big organ. <laughs> if you can do it. Uh, <laughs> good thing it jet. Oh, so it makes sense to go to a doctor and you know kind of work work with it. And I think that the one of the problems with my face care is that I take I try to take care of my face. I've been making a concentrated effort for like a year now to try to take care of my face. But I don't like take care of the bottom of my feet. I don't take care of like my shoulders. Uh, I don't like have a routine that involves my entire body for skincare. And I think that's one of the things I'm interested in having. Holy moly, we're fine. Uh, I'm, one of the things I'm interested in having a conversation with a uh, professional about to see, you know, how important that is and what that looks like. And your face is your moneymaker, baby. I, 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 ow. Yeah, ow, I think. But also, it's hard to ignore reality. There's a reason I use a camera. There's a reason I'm going to a dermatologist. There's a reason that I try to, you know, take care of myself. Uh, it, it's, it's a, it's a bit oof for the face to be something that I rely on. Cause I'm gonna get old. I, I don't know. Like, obviously I want to, I want people to respect me for my <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> if you know what I mean? The massive intelligence that I have in my pants. I want people to respect me for that, but it's, it's, it's also hard to ignore the fact that people look at what you look like a lot. That's just, that's just a reality. Uh, we as humans are predisposed to uh, making assumptions about one another, you know? And that's gonna be based off how we look and how we smell and how we handle ourselves and our posture and stuff like that. And it's just, there's a reality. There's a Crusader Kings board game? What? Is there really? Why? I don't think that would work. Crusader Kings 2 is so complicated that I don't think it would work in a board game setting. There's so much math going on all the time. I think dumbing it down would take a lot away from it. Like, how am I supposed to kill my children in order to secure the inheritance for my strong genius if it takes me that long, you know? And, and CK2 is something that I play for weeks on end. But CK2 is really bad for me. <laughs> I actually try not to play CK2 because it's my heroine, I think. There, there is something about certain games that make me... My therapist calls it a depressive episode. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not joking about that. Like it's if if uh, if I get too into something, I will ignore all other aspects of my life in favor of oh, that thing, and that's a problem. Uh, oh gosh, do you not put holes in the bridge for lava slimes? We'll never see another lava slime. I promise, it will never happen. Don't worry. Uh, there's actually two ways to get rid of lava. 
Uh, the holes are one way to get lava, but also just having no place for the lava to go. So like it spreads out infinitely, will also get through lava too. Do you ever experience that with Terraria or RimWorld? Yes, with RimWorld. Never with Terraria though. Can you beat Wall of Fluffs just a sword? I don't think so. No, Pingus. I, I, okay, Marble's on stream. Chat, are you ready for a freaking rant? I hate that game. On principle, I hate that quote unquote game. I, I really don't like Marbles on stream. I have like this, I have a thing against Marbles on stream. I don't know why. It, well, I do know why. But I also, I think it's un... Uh, yeah, lots of streamers love it, Claypool. Lots of streamers really like Marbles. I, I don't like it because it... Ah, Marbles is great for a chill stream if you ever want to do low energy. Yes, it, it, it's low effort and boring. Chill, chill to me is equivalent to low effort and boring. And, and I do have low effort and boring streams sometimes, but I'm never happy about them. So if I were to have a low effort, boring stream and then have marbles on, which is low effort and boring, it would be like the sixth pit of hell for me. Like there's no gameplay. There's nothing that you do. You just watch the balls. I, I think I could maybe make marbles energetic, but it would be really hard to do so. I don't know. But, but also a lot of people really like it. Ugh. Ugh take my shirt off if i do an exercise stream i'll take my shirt off sometimes but i definitely won't take my shirt off on demand maybe when i open my only fans i'll take my shirt off no one wants to see badger without his shirt off let's just let's just be real here no one okay <laughs> okay <poop>. uh, <laughs> uh the thing about it is is are you what are you doing and what's its intention right so wearing a low-cut shirt i mean okay so is is this tank top sexual chat Pro probably the the general response to that is no would this tank top be sexual on a girl yeah, and I actually think that's way more complex. Yes, very sexual. Oh, oh, okay. It's a dress, but yes, it's not a dress. All right, it's a freaking tank top. It's not. It's not a dress. Okay. Like if I had my shirt off during an exercise stream, I think that would be okay. If I was doing it and uh, like mm, being sexual about it, I'm mean, gonna. Uh, oh gosh, trying not to be like too explicit here. If I was uh, sexualizing myself, and that would be a problem uh, with with terms of service. Oh gosh. If I was tenderly rubbing my nipples, that would be a problem. Just having my nipples out, though, that's pretty fine. Whatever you do, it's against terms of service to sexualize even mundane things. Don't mind me, I'm just stroking my meat here. I don't necessarily want to see Badger's hot dog. I don't think anybody wants to see Badger's hot dog, all right? I think that's off the menu. That's off the table. No no one is... I don't, I don't think there's anything about a hot dog that's visually attractive to anybody. Ooh, that's split. I'm going to take advantage of that, actually. Yes, give it to me. Give me the feet. It's a sec sexualization is just a, a tough topic, frankly. That it, it's you, you kind of have to tiptoe around. Who is listening to this vod right now? And is like, Aah! oh man. Okay, let's go back to watching Terraria. <laughs> I, 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 how many times I have, have I been secondary masturbatory material? That's all I'm asking. I'm just curious. When I die and go to heaven, I hope there's a stat. And the stats like this is how long people have masturbated to you. I hope I get the seat. That's it. That's all I want. All right. That's what I'm all about. I, I, I hope that, that God takes really good records of this kind of stuff because I'm just curious. Welcome to Bad Radio. And today, we'll be talking about topics ranging from sexual content to <laughs> impulse masturbation when I'm watching a Twitch live stream. Uh, meanwhile, set in the, uh, the PG family-friendly world of Terraria, in which we are killing walls of flesh and skeletal bosses. Smooth jazz with Radio Badger.